I've been asked to, um, to explain my call to ministry, which is something that clergy have to often rehash and rethink about. When I think about my call to ministry, I liken it to my relationship with my wife. We met in a very meek and mild way, um, and we grew in our relationship and our friendship. Um, then we fell in love. And at some point we decided, you know, we have to make a full-time commitment to each other and in marriage in order to um, be happy and people. So we made a commitment to get married um, in 1997. I grew up in the church. Um, now as a kid, I found it boring, I'll be honest with you. Um, but my family taught me that was important. It was something you did every Sunday, whether you liked it or not, felt like it or not. And my grandparents were instrumental in this understanding too. So at 12 years old, I was baptized, made a profession of faith, and it was a life-changing experience. My life was transformed in that moment. Um, from that point forward, I was what you would describe a very devout Christian. Uh, committed to living out, you know, reading the Bible. I think I read the Bible every night, you know, my life and um, trying to live that out and developing our prayer life and all the things Wesley talked about, worship, service. Um, so uh, very devout person. And um, this relationship with Christ continued to grow. Now in, in college, uh, I got involved with a fraternity and got involved with college life. Uh, after college, I went to work for the Farm Credit Bank, and my 20s were, I wondered, uh, as they say. Um, then one day in my late 20s, I had a realization that, is this all there is? I still remember the time I was in a bar in Douglas, Georgia, and I remember thinking, is this all this life is about? So from that point forward, my relationship began to change. Um, exploring who am I? What is the meaning of my life? What am I supposed to do with it? I found a renewed um, experience with, with God. A study was extremely important during this time. Uh, I read a lot of things, a lot of different things. I was a Stephen minister in my home church. Um, and I had, I would, I would describe this this part of the relationship is moving from just a God about ideas and beliefs and doctrines and theologies and obligations to a relationship with a living God, an experience with God. Um, mystical experiences are very important in my understanding. I'm not going <clears> to <throat> go into that, <coughs> excuse me, except to say it is just an experience of Christ in your life walking with you, living in and through you. So this experience grew until I realized, you know, I have got to make a commitment full time of my life, like I did to Sue, full time to the church. And that was uh, when I was 30 years old, as I went to or became a uh, study, became an ordained ministry uh, over at Emory. My vision as a minister here at Johns Creek has always been the same everywhere I went. I heard it said years ago, my job is to try to make Christ a reality in your life. Not build something or organize something, or but to try to make Christ a reality in your life. So my hope is that this church would be a place where people can uh, meet Jesus in a meek and mild way. I don't like to um, pop box people or try to uh, sell Jesus like you'd sell, you know, Girl Scout cookies. Of course, that's an easy sell, but um, meek and mild, a place for people to meet Jesus and grow in their relationship to, to Christ. Body, that's why we do service and missions. And mind, that's why we have education and soul. That um, for people to have an opportunity to grow in their relationship and their love of God and other people. My favorite, one of my favorite parables, Jesus described this way. He said, a man uh, finds a buried treasure in a field and he 
realizes I'm going to sell everything I got in order to buy this field to obtain the treasure. Now, to me, the treasure is life with, with and in Christ. And I love that parable because it says, I want my faith, I want the church to become a place where people will do whatever they have to do. Go where they have to go. Get rid of whatever they have to get rid of. Give whatever they have to give. Do whatever they have to do in order to find this treasure. Because to me, the, the Christian faith is like going to Disney World. You know, you go in and you're all excited. There's a lot of energy and being in the Magic Kingdom. But nobody stops in the entrance. They spend the rest of their time and most of their money um, exploring the Magic Kingdom. And the Kingdom of God is an endless discovery and joy. So I wish, I wish that... Um, the church is and will be and remain a place where folks can have a relationship with Christ and grow in that and until they feel a sense of commitment to whatever God has in store for their life. Thank you very much.